All right, guys. So in the last video, we created our our route for the post request to API profile, which is to create and update a user's profile. Now, before we test it or anything, I want to add our custom validation. So we're going to go into the validation folder, create a new file called profile.js. All right. And in here, it's going to be similar to these other ones we created. Let's actually just copy the login js just so we have kind of a starting point because we're going to want to bring in validator we're going to want to bring in our custom is empty method that we created and we're just going to change this now to validate profile input okay it's going to take in data we're going to initialize an errors object and then anything that is going to be required we want to make sure we add here because again the validator it only this is empty it only takes in strings so if they don't submit something in a form to our server like let's say the handle which is required it's not going to come in as an empty string it's going to come in as null or undefined so the what this is doing is making sure that if it is null or undefined then it's going to get sent to set to an empty string and then we can check it with the validator dot is empty okay so remember our our required fields we have handle so it'll we'll check data dot handle not jandle and right here handle so that'll be sent to that'll be set to an empty string if it's empty uh, and our, our is empty checks for undefined null it checks for empty objects and so on um, we also have status I'm just gonna control D twice and then status and then let's copy this line down and let's do skills which was also um, required alright so we have that now I wanna make sure that the length of the handle is between 2 and 40 so I'm actually going to just get rid of these and let's do if okay now remember to do if not validator dot is length and we're, we're looking at data dot handle not comma data dot handle and then remember for the is length it takes in a second parameter which is an object with the min which will be 2 and the max which will be 40 okay and then in here whoops in here we want to then do errors dot handle equals handle needs to be uh, let's see yeah, handle needs to be between two and four characters. And then the handle is also required. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to say if validator dot we want to take get rid of the not and say is empty data handle. We don't need this. So if it's empty, we still want it to be in the handle of the errors. And we'll just say profile handle is required. Okay, um, next thing we want to look at is status. Status is required, so we'll go ahead and copy this and we'll just change this to status. And it'll be errors status. And we'll just say status is or status field is required. All right. And then let's do skills. Skills is required. So we'll do that. Okay. Um, now, those are the the required fields but we also have fields like website all the social media those aren't required but we want them to be formatted as URLs and we can do that with validator dot is URL 
So we're first going to check to see if it's not empty because I don't want, if we don't check to see if it's not empty, it's going to give us the URL error even if it's not there. Okay, but we want it to, we, we don't want it to have to be there. So we're going to say if not is our is empty, then uh, let's pass in data dot website. So if it's not empty, then we want to do our validator check. So then we want to say if not validator dot is URL. And we're looking at data dot website. Then we want errors dot website equals not a valid URL. So does that make sense? Hopefully it does. We're, che we're checking to see if it's not empty because it's not required. It can be empty. But if it's not, then we want to check to make sure it's a URL. All right. We're going to do the same thing with all of the social networks. So what do we have? I think we have five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. So under website, let's look at Twitter or YouTube. And change this YouTube. It'll be errors.youtube. And it'll just say not a valid URL. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. Uh, yeah, we'll just change all these to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. and Instagram. All right. So I think that's pretty much it for the profile validations. Okay, make sure you have this here as well. We're returning all of our errors and it'll be valid if the errors are empty. Okay, so we'll save that. And let's go back to our profile route, which is API profiles js go to our post that we did in the last video and we're going to do the same thing that we did with with validating the users um, so we're going to just give me one second uh, all right so let's go right above where we did the get fields and we want to use a little destructuring here. We want to get errors and is valid. And we want to take that from our validate profile input function, which we haven't brought in yet. We'll have to require that. And that gets passed in the request dot body. OK, so all the form fields that are submitted. And then we just want to check that validation by saying if is not valid or if not is valid, then we want to return any errors uh, with 400 status. So we'll say return res dot status 400 dot JSON pass in those errors. OK, and that's it. So basically, we just need to do this at the beginning of anything that we're trying to validate. Now, let's bring this in right here, this profile input. So we'll go up to the top here and we'll go right here. Let's say load validation. We'll say const validate profile input equals require and that's going to come from we're going to go out twice into validation slash profile. All right, so we should be all set to test. So let's go to Postman. Now we're logged in in the we have our authorization header, which it hasn't been an hour yet, so it should still work. In fact, if I send, we get still get the no profile. Good. Now let's go to. Uh, 
I guess I could delete the register. That's that's all said and done. We already have some users registered. So let's create a new tab and let's make a post request to HTTP uh, localhost 5000 slash profile. Uh, or I'm sorry, API slash profile. And that's the route to actually create a profile or update a profile. So if we let's just send, see what happens. We get unauthorized because we don't have our authorization. We don't have our token, which verifies our login. So let's go to headers. Authorization. And let's grab our token from this tab. Paste that in and send and there we go so handle is required status is required and skills is required okay um, and this is happening because of that validation file we created so let's go ahead and go to body let's choose the form URL encoded let's add a handle um, who am I logged in as John or I know I had two users uh, I think it's John that we're logged in as. I could actually go to the current. If I were to go to uh, the route we created, which was. You guys don't have to do this. I just want to make sure who I'm logged in as. So it was. Users slash current. And let's put in. Authorization. OK, so we're logged in as John Doe. So let's go back to the tab where we're creating our profile. Go to our body. And for the handle, I'm going to say John Doe. If I try to send that, OK, we could just get the status and skills is required. So for status, let's say developer and our front end this will be a select list if we send that we get that okay um, so now for skills let's do a CSV we'll say HTML CSS JavaScript PHP all right now if I send this this should work but it'll create a very minimalistic profile um, but let's just try it. So we'll say send and there we go. We get our profile back. Now notice that the stuff that we didn't include like bio uh, website company that's it's not here. It's not going to be blank. It's just not going to be here, which is act it's what we want. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see the handle is here. The status, the skills is now an array. OK, because of that logic that we added. Now, this same route, we can actually update our profile with. So I can just go ahead and add to this now. And let's say we want a, um, a company. So let's say we work for a company called EduSoft. If I go ahead and send that. There it is, company EduSoft. OK, so we can use this to create profiles and update. If I wanted to add. Uh, let's say a website. Now this is I'm going to show you something. This is where the the error should come in if this isn't a URL. So if I just say EduSoft and we send not a valid URL. OK, so it's not required. But if we do put it, it has to be a valid URL. So let's change it to HTTP www.edusoft.com send and there we go. So now our website is there. If we want to add a social network, let's add Twitter. HTTP, we'll say twitter.com slash John Doe and send. And there it is. And you can see it, it gets actually gets added to the social object. If I were to add Facebook, HTTP, 
facebook.com slash John Doe and send there there it is it gets put into the social object because that's how we constructed it in our model okay your model is very important that's that's the the map of your data all right so we've done quite a bit in this section so far we're now able to create our profile we're able also able to update our profiles and we also have our validation and now let's go back since we have a profile let's go back to the route where we're checking to see if we have it. we're checking to get our profile data because before we didn't have one let's go ahead and send and there it is now we can get our profile and if we look if you want to look at um, MongoDB let's go ahead and go to our dev connector database I just have to log back in and we have two collections now users and profiles now there's two users there's Brad and John Doe um, we didn't create a profile for Brad okay so he doesn't have a profile so if we look in profiles there's only one document and that's John Doe's profile and that's exactly how this is supposed to work all right so hopefully you guys are, are you know understanding what's going on here um, one thing I want to do before we go is if we look at our profile you don't see I mean we have the user ID here but you don't see the avatar and you don't see the name or the email um, I actually don't want the email to show on the profile because these are going to be public um, but we do want the avatar and the name so what we have to do is go back to um, we don't have to do anything different adding the profile it's just fetching it which is this route here all we have to do is go to our find um, our find one sorry we're gonna go right above the dot then and we're simply gonna do dot populate okay because since we basically connected our user collection to the profile inside the model and just to show you what I mean it was the first one we did here this right here we're able to populate fields from users into this into the their response okay so let's say populate and we want to populate from user and then we can put either just a one field here but since we want two we're going to put an array and we want the name and we want the avatar okay so let's save that let's go back to postman and let's re let's refetch our profile and there it is user is now an object with the ID the name and the avatar so that's now included in our profile all right guys so that's gonna be it for this video in the next one we have some more routes to create we want to route that that we can get the profile from the handle because right now we can just get the current currently logged in users profile that has to do with the token but we want to be able to go to profile slash Brad Travis or John Doe whatever the handle is we also want to be able to get it get the profile by an ID so kind of an, an, an unfriendly SEO um, method that we'll use internally we also want to get all of the profiles we want to be able to get an array of profiles so that's what we're going to start to get into next